Hi everyone, Savo Martin Greenwood. Um, welcome to our first virtual lesson. And before we get started into the lesson itself, I just want to talk a little bit about the purpose of the virtual lessons and a little bit about health and safety. So, um, virtual lessons are really for people who cannot attend regular classes with an instructor. So they're very much a training aid and not as a replacement for your normal lessons. So at the moment we find ourselves in strange times where we're unable to train because we don't have a venue and it's not safe for us to train in terms of a group. So they are ideal for this sort of uh, environment. Um, in terms of health and safety, those of you that are training maybe at home or in a smaller sort of place than what we're used to in, in terms of our classes, just make sure that you've got space around you to, to move around safely, that you're not going to collide, collide with any objects. Um, make sure that the floor that you're training on is, is suitable to train on, it's clean, there's no debris there and it's not slippy. If you're training on a floor maybe where there is some, some, some even or there's some objects there, um, you may want to consider putting some footwear on, some suitable footwear. I know in class normally we're training bare feet, um, but you know, um, if you can't and it's, it's not suitable to do so, please put something on like a pair of trainers or some, uh, some sandals, something like that. Um, you should all be fitting well to take part in the, in the virtual lesson, so if you're not feeling well, then please don't do the lesson. And similarly, if you're carrying an injury at the moment, make sure that whatever you're doing in terms of the lesson is, is well within what you can do in terms of that injury. Um, the lessons, the virtual lessons are, are structured into sort of three groups really. There is the beginner's lessons, um, intermediate lessons and advanced lessons. Now we wouldn't expect beginners to be doing the same sort of things that our advanced students are doing. So simple things like when we are doing kicks um, we don't expect you to be kicking to head height. That's just not, not, not right, okay? So you stick well within your capabilities and hopefully by doing that um, everybody will be fine to continue. Okay, so let's get started then, okay? So um, whenever we start any lesson we should warm up properly. So we're going to warm our body up first. So we're going to start from the, the top downwards, okay? So we're going to put our hands just loosely on our hips like this and I'm going to do our head first, I'm going to turn to the left and to the right then back then forwards and up ok now from here, trunk bend, I'm going to go to our left first like this so bending right at the top of the hip here, the pelvis and to the opposite side here Now this time we're going to go forwards, so try touch your hands on the floor, so no jerking, okay, no pushing down hard, nice steady motion, hold it, then up slowly, lean backwards, and back, okay, now from here we're going to circle the arms forward like this, slowly, that's it, good, and backwards, This time we're just going to bounce and back behind. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And relax. Okay, from here we're going to take our horse stance this time. So two shoulders width apart with your feet. Okay, both feet pointing forwards, bending the knees, back straight, elbows up in front here. Now we're going to go slowly. Two to the left here, two to the right by the count. Okay, ready? Hala, pull, set, let. Come up, pull, set, net, come up, pull, set, net, come up, pull, set, net. Okay, legs straight this time, arms up. Now we're going to twist here, try to touch your foot, opposite side, and relax. Three, one, two, three, four, come up, pull, set, net, come up, pull, set, net, and slowly circle around. Go back the opposite direction, round the other way. 
and relax. Okay, now we're going to turn to the left here. Okay, now we're going to go into our lunge. So bend your left knee here and your right foot onto your toes here. So heel of, the, heel of your foot off the floor. And we're going to push gently forwards onto this front foot here, making sure that we don't bounce forwards like this. Nice steady pressure. Okay, now from there we're going to turn our heel inwards into our front stance, chumbo jazz there. So same again, no bouncing. And from here dropping back, weight onto the right knee this time, left leg straight knee, toes off the floor here onto the heel. And changing sides. Okay, so we're going to go this way now, so bending your left knee, so your right knee, left leg onto the ball back here, push forwards. That's it. Onto the side of the foot. And we're going to drop backwards this time. Onto your left knee. Nice and relaxed. Okay, now from here we're going to change sides now. You're going to try drop down a little bit further. So making sure that your knee is bending directly over the top of your foot here. And then we're going to switch sides. And changing again. And again. Good. Okay, from here we're going to come up like this. So it's a nice steady stretch here. Okay, so feet in line with each other here, both legs straight. Now we're going to take our head down to our left knee this time. Okay, so remembering what I said before, not to not to bounce up and down with your back. Nice steady movement. We're going to go down slowly here. And we're going to hold. And up. Roll. Set. Net. Dance up. Yes, hold up, giddy, a hop, yo, and the opposite side, down we go, and up, roll, set, net, dance up, yes, hold up, giddy, a hop, yo, okay, relax. Now this time, we're going to just take our feet a little bit further apart, I'm going to repeat this exercise, I'm going to go down to the left again, and up, roll, set, net, Chain side. And now, roll, set, net, that's it. Okay, now why now? A little bit further. Taking our head forwards this time, nice and steady. Down into the centre. Use your hands if you wish to keep you balancing, stop you falling on your face. Nice and relaxed. And hold in, roll, set, net, that's it. Okay, now from there, slowly. Just bring your feet in legs, a bit of a shake off, okay, and hands on hips, we're going to circle the hips, ready, and uh, roll, set, net, dance up, opposite direction, and uh, roll, set, net, dance, and shut, relax, okay, now, we're going to get into our basic training now, so, we're going to do some work on our horse riding stance firstly, so, before we do that, our chumbi position here, we take our left foot away from our right foot, the distance of your shoulders. So our left foot steps out like this, our left hand comes in front of the right hand like this to make a bird shape, and then down, both fists down in front. Okay, so from the tension position here, we're going to chumbi like this. Okay, now from here, your left leg is going to step out to the side, to your left side. Okay, while well your, your left arm is going to draw into your left hip, like so, with your right arm straightening out. So from here we step out with our left, one, punch two. Okay, so punch with the left arm. So from ready position here, we pull out to the left and punch left side. Horse stance, ready? One. Now, from this position, okay, check your stance, make sure both your feet are in line. Knees bending, pushing outwards over the top of your feet here. Punching right in the middle of the body here. Now we're going to do double punch. Okay, so I'm going to twist my hips now and go one, two. Okay, one, two. Now as we twist, we make sure our feet don't move here. Our hip twists. One, two. Back straight. Okay, so by the count. Ready? Hana. Do. Sit. Net. Hana. Do. Sit. Okay, and back to ready. Left leg pulls in, barrel, and sharp. Relax. Okay. 
Okay, everybody, jumpy, ready position. Okay, now this time we're going to take our right leg back and your hands are going to come up on guard here in front, okay? So, kicking stance chumbi is balchagi chumbi, okay? So, right leg back, hands on guard. Now, nice and easy, we're going to do our leg lifting now. So, if I turn sideways on here, you can see my back leg is slightly bent, my front leg bent again like this, as we had it before. So, I'm going to lift my back leg up straight now, up towards my shoulder, like this, and back. Two, back, okay? Now, junior is, okay, normally you just bring up towards midsection here, no higher. Nice and easy, okay, one, two, see is you can go all the way up like this, yeah, okay? So we're gonna come into this position again, onto our kicking stance, right leg behind, and we're gonna do leg lifting by the count now. Ready, and up, and up, and sit, and knit, and that's up, and change legs, Hi Okay, now, left leg behind this time, we're gonna do the same with the left leg, so up, and back, by the count, ready, and up. Sit, lift, tussle, and back to ready, move, and shot. Okay, so this is our wall completed now. Your legs, your arms, hopefully warm, ready to continue training. Okay, now, periodically through this lesson, I'm going to be referring to a sheet that I've got back here. It's not because I don't know what I'm talking about, it's because I want to get things in a nice structured order so that we cover things in each one of, the, one of the lessons in a structured way okay so we're not covering things that we're going to do in a later lesson now instead of later on okay so um, I'm going to take a quick look now see what we're doing next okay so we're going to do an explanation of the three basic tanks to go stances so there are lots of stances in Tang Sudo, but a lot of them you're not going to use until you're later on down the line when you're an intermediate level or you are advanced level. So the first three stances we learn in Tang Sudo are front stance, pulse stance and back stance. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at the front stance first. So if I turn sideways onto you, okay, this is what your front stance should look like looking from the side. Your back leg is straight here, your front leg is bent. Your hips and shoulders are turned so you're facing in the direction of travel towards your front foot here. Your back straight, okay? Now your front knee here, when you're bending it, you should bend it to the extent that you can just about see your big toe beyond this, this knee. Your back leg here, straight, and you notice my back foot here is pointing more or less in the direction of travel to here going forwards so I don't turn it sideways on like this, okay? If you turn your knee sideways on like this, it's no good for your balance, but also you're putting pressure on the inside of your knee. It's no good for you, longer term, okay? Now, in terms of the length of my stance between both feet here, it is twice the size of my shoulders. This is a guide, okay? You can't just say it should be a meter or 90 centimeters or whatever. It needs to be designed around your own size, your own build. So, so it's always around twice your shoulders width, okay? Now if we look from the front here too, my stance here, you can see that both feet are in line. The distance between both these feet here should be your shoulders width, okay? So two shoulders width apart in terms of length, one shoulder width across, if that makes sense, okay? So this is our front stance. Now our whole stance we've already looked at, which looks like this. This is the second basic tanks of stance. So our horse riding stance, again, distance between both feet is two shoulders widths. This time though, our feet are in line and both feet pointing forwards. Okay, like this. Now, both knees bent and trying to push your knees outwards over the top of your toes here. So again, you can just see your big toe beyond your knees, not like this. Yeah, you push your knees outwards like this, outside. Now, um, in terms of your posture again, your back should be straight. Head up, back straight. Okay, knees bent. Okay, so two shoulders widths apart again with horse stance. Our last stance I'm going to talk about is our back stance this time. So in terms of the back stance, it is half the size of the other two. 
So it's only the distance really between your shoulders or the distance between your knee and your ankle between both heels like this. Okay? And you can see I'm 90 degrees above my feet here. So the easiest way to get your back stance correct is like this. If you put both your feet together like this, now you're going to turn your left foot out this direction now to make a make sort of a T-shape like this with your feet. Then you're going to move your left foot, the distance between your knee and your ankle, away from your right foot, like this. Then you can collapse your weight now 90% down onto your right knee here, on top of your right foot, and then slightly bend your front leg here and lift up the heel on your front foot. Okay, so this is our back stance. Okay. So we turn our hips slightly through here, keeping our back straight, so we're not altogether sideways on. So once again, if you look from the front here, my back stance is like this, where I'm turning, facing slightly towards the target, not like this. This again is a bad posture, you're off balance. This is natural here, okay? So, I'm gonna practice these three stances now, okay? So you're gonna go out to your left here first, okay? We're gonna do our front stance. So your front stance, we're going to step our left leg out here, like so. So two shoulders width apart. Okay. You're then going to pull in your left foot into the centre, into your horse stance like this. And then you're going to pull in your left leg to shorten into back stance like this. Okay. So we're going to do one here, two, three. Okay. So one, two, three. Okay, now we're going to go the other side now, we're going to go this way, in the front stance, so right knee bending this time, one, three, right leg in, ball stance, two, right leg in, ball stance, three. Okay, so once again, front stance, ball stance, back stance, back to ready. Okay, so these are our three basic tanksido stances. Front stance, jungle jasse, ball stance, kima jasse. Back stance, Ubal Jasse, and we'll be using these throughout the first few virtual lessons that we've got in this series of videos. Okay? So, this is the point where I have to look at my sheet again. Um, so, we're going to start going through some of our um, basic hand technique now. Okay? So, we're going to go from, from ready position, from the attention position here, into ready, chumbi, so left foot out to the side, hands down. Now, from here. We're going to move our left leg forwards into our front stance and do low block. So remember, our front stance looking like this as we progress forwards. Okay? Now, as I step my leg forwards, my left arm is going to come up to the right shoulder, like this. And you're going to block down. Okay? So two stage movement from here. You step your left leg forwards, left arm, no one. Down two. Okay? So with me this time, ready? Now you're going to step forwards this time, right leg stepping forwards, right arm coming up, step out, block. Okay, now you're going to step backwards, okay, your right leg stepping backwards, left arm block one, and then right arm block two. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up a little bit now. So stepping forwards with your left leg, front stance, low block one, and front stance, low block two. Now going backwards, okay, you're stepping back with your right this time, blocking with your left, so step back, one, and step back, two, okay, good. Now, our next basic block is our middle block, inside to outside. So again, I'm going to step my, or you're going to step your left leg forward, okay, as we do so this time, you're going to drop your left arm down like this as your right arm comes up, and your left arm is going to block like this with the elbow bent, okay? Like so. So from this position here, I step in, I go one, two, one, two, okay? Now if we look at this block from the side, in the middle block you should have about 120 degree angle here on your arm, okay? Not pulling close to the head like this, out about level with your nose, your front arm, and in the middle of the body, it comes up the centre like this, one, two, one, two, okay? So from here again, left leg comes forward, okay? As we step in, we turn our body slightly sideways, we chamber, our left arm drops down, right arm coming up, as we step out, elbow bends, okay? 
So step in, one, two. Now we're going to move backwards, okay? So you're going to move back with your right leg, left arm drops down, left arm drops up. Step back again, left leg back, your right arm dropping down, right arm up. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up a bit now. So left arm block, one, right arm, two. Moving back this time, okay? Right leg back, left arm lock. One, two. Okay, one more time, going forward. One, two, and back. One, two, and the roll. That's ready. Shot for that. Okay, so first two blocks done. Our next one is our high block, Sangdamaki. Now it's the same sort of sequence that we've got as we progress forward. As we we chamber our arms into this sort of position here and then one comes up the other one pulls in okay so hopefully you get into grips with this this sort of transitional movement that we do as we step into the stance okay so into ready position again okay so high block okay so once again you're going to step forward with your left leg this time okay so as we step in your left arm is going to drop down your right arm comes up and as we step out into the front stance you're going to block like this now, okay, so your arm, again, you've got this 120 degree angle with the head, like so, and we look from the side here, the distance of your arm away from your head should be a fist away and a fist above, like this, okay, not here, like this, okay, this is no good, i show sure from the front like this is no good, 120 degree angle up like this, okay, so from here, you're stepping your left leg forwards, left arm drops down, left arm up as we step in this time once again we're going to chamber your right arm dropping down left arm coming up high block now moving back okay so you're going to move backwards this time with your right leg left arm blocking up one and step back with your left leg right arm blocking up two so we're going to move forward through again a little bit faster now so one high block two step back one two okay arm barrel Okay, and shot. So these are three first basic tank sudo blocks. Low block, hadamaki. Middle block, chundamaki. High block, sandamaki. All done in front stance, chungul jase. Okay, now we're going to have a look at uh, our second stance now. I'm doing a hand technique through our second stance. So we're going to go into our horse riding stance this time and we're going to do middle punch in horse riding stance. Okay, so it should be very efficient. Now, once again, you're going to step your left leg forwards, okay? But this time you're going to turn your body 90 degrees, okay, a quarter of a circle here, like so. And you're going to go into this horse riding stance with both knees bent, like we explained the other one. So from here, we turn, and at the same time, your left arm is going to pull into the hip, and you're going to punch out level with the shoulders, like this, okay? So jumpy position here, you're going to step out the whole one, like this, okay? So, if you look from the side here, this is the position that you want. Your, your punching arm is level with the shoulders, both knees again bent, feet in line, okay? Back nice and straight like this, relaxed, okay? You step in, like this, step back, like this, okay? So once again, okay, jumpy. Okay, so I'm going to do left leg out, or stance, middle punch one. Now, stepping through, okay, height, remember you're saying, so bend your left knee as you step through this time, feet coming together, then we're going to turn our hip and punch out with the right arm now, two. Now, we're going to step backwards, okay, so the right leg is going to pull in this time, feet together, head nice and level, step back, punch one. Stepping back again, feet together, punch two. Okay, now we're going to move forward this time, three, one, two. And back. One, two, and back. That's ready. And shot. Relax. So this is our horse stance. Middle punch. Okay. Next block we're going to do is on horse back stance. This time. Uh, so our back stance. Remember, just a quick recap. Half the size of your front stance and side stance, or horse riding stance rather. So the distance between your knee and your ankle apart from both feet like this okay and 90 percent of the weight on your back knee like this your back straight now the block we're going to do off our back stance this time 
is called Naifa Middle Block, Chundan Sunomaki. So instead of our fist being closed this time, we're going to open up our hands. So as we bend our stance like this, both hands are going to drop to the hip, open like this. And as if they're both tied together, they move circular like this together. Okay, so my front arm here, my right arm in this case, is bent at 120 degree angle, a bit like our middle block that we did earlier on. But the hand is open and I'm striking or blocking with the side of the hand here, like this. Thumb tucked in, like so. So if I do the other way, I drop to this hip, I circle again, to block. Okay? So before we move forwards, we're just going to do this, okay, going side to side, okay? So if you move into your, your back stance, okay, to mirror image me, so you have your right leg out, then we're going to look to your left here, your hands are going to drop to your right side, and you're going to circle to block like this. So your opposite hand, the heel of your hand in line, what we call the solar plexus, okay, just in top of the top of the rib cage here, like so. Now we're going to look to the right, drop your weight into your left knee, hands drop into the left, block, and then look in, hands down, block, and look in. Um, we're going to start moving forward using this stance now, doing that same block. So remember we're going to drop our hands to the side here, to the hip, and then across towards the front side here. Okay, so as you step forward from here, for okay, kitchen B, we're going to move our left leg forwards this time, and your hands are going to drop to your right side here. Then you're going to twist your hip and block into the centre here. Now we're going to step forwards now, step forwards with your right leg. Hands drop into the left side and again twist. One more time, stepping forwards this time with your left side. Lock across. Now moving backwards, okay, so step backwards this time with your left leg. Hands come into your left side and block one. Stepping back, block two. Stepping back, block three. Now moving forwards a little bit faster now, we're going to go one, two, three, and moving back. One, two, three, and that's already the way. And shuffle, please. Okay, so in the first section of this uh, this lesson, we've looked at our, th our three stances, our jungle jase, kima jase, hugel jase. So we looked at front stance here, our full stance here, and our back stance here. We've covered low block here, we've covered middle block here, and we've covered high block like this, we've covered horse riding stance middle punch like this, and we've covered knife arm middle block like this. So for the first sort of couple of months when you start training doing Tang Soo Do, these are the sort of the, the types of hand techniques that you're going to be using more often. Uh, and for beginners, you know, this is the type of thing that we test people on when they do their gradients for the first couple of times. So we're now going to do some work on our kicks, okay? So before we do that, I'm just going to make sure our legs are warmed up again, okay? So I just want you to put your hands again on your hips here and circle slowly. Two, three, four, and opposite side. One, two, three, four. Now I want you to move out here and lunge out towards your right side here. Nice and easy, remember again. And our uh, foot coming flat again, just jungle jasse from stance. Draw backwards into your left knee, just like we did at the beginning of the class. Then you're going to change sides, you're going to go across your left side like this. Then turn your right again, chum jasse, dropping back again, onto your right knee like this, nice and steady. Come in here, relax, okay, shaft. Okay, now the first kick we're going to do is, uh, is our front snap kick. Now, all of the, the snap kicks, you are going to bend your knee for these kicks. Not like we did at the beginning of the class when we did that lifting kick. Uh, your knee must bend for a snap kick, okay? So we're going to go into our ready position here, Chumbi. Now, you're going to take your right leg back and hands on guard like this. So this is the same position that we had earlier on, our fighting stance. So our back leg here, slightly bent here onto the ball of our foot, heel of the floor, hands on guard. Now, front snap kick here. Okay, you're going to bend your right knee. Your right knee is going to come up, bend like this. Okay, then you're going to snap it out straight, and it's going to come back in again. Okay, so you bend it, snap it back. Okay, like this. 
Now, as you're doing this, you are not chipping your leg upwards like a straight up in the air. You are pushing your hips forwards so that the power of your kick goes into the target. So if I show you from the side here, I kick like this, not up, I kick in. So the hips push it, up, like this, like three, okay? So we're going to use kick, okay, a few times, okay, on the spot, okay? So we're going to move into chumbi, ready position here. Then you're going to take your right leg back, arms on guard. Okay, now we're going to use our right knee to kick, or your right leg to kick here now, okay? So right leg is going to come up, nice and slowly to start with, so we're going to bend it, snap it, and back. In the same position, hands on guard. So again, we're going to kick, and back, kick, and back. Okay, now this time, we're going to do a little bit faster, okay? So we're going to do three now, nice and fast, ready? One, two, and three. Okay, now change your legs, hop. Okay, now, your left leg behind. Your left knee is going to bend, remember again, here, and snap, and back, okay? So we're going to start slowly again, okay, nice and easy. Ready? One, two, and three. Now this time we're going to do three a little bit faster. Okay, with me. Ready? Hana. Go. And set. Okay, and baru. That's ready. Okay. So we're, we're just going to cover our last uh, basic kick for this lesson. Um, so we're going to cover the outside to inside chop kick. Um, now this, this kick is a very similar ending to the previous kick that we did, the inside to outside chop kick. But we're going to bring the kick around the opposite direction this time. So you remember previously that um, the last kick we did we brought across the body here, then up into the centre, then down. So we made this circular sort of motion like this. Okay. Now this kick we're going to bring the opposite direction though. So we're going to come away from the shoulder here, then into the centre and down. So once again, if we imagine the clock face here, as I deliver this kick now, I'm going to head out towards 10 o'clock. So when you do yours with your right leg, you'd be going out towards 2 o'clock. And then we're going to come it across into the centre to 12 o'clock. So we get this nice cut across the body. So we're going to go from outside to inside here. So from your right side and my left side, we're going to go across and down like this. Okay. So we swing out and down. Okay, so we're going to do this uh, just a few times with the right leg first, okay, and then we're going to do three, and we're going to beat a, build up a bit of speed, okay. So from here, if you take your right leg back, okay, hands on guard like this. Now, right leg first, okay, so outside to inside, so swinging your leg from your right side into the centre now. So not too high, okay, from here, out to in, one, two, three. Now we're going to go a little bit faster this time, ready, and ah. Goal set and change legs. Okay, now once again, this time with your left side this time. So you're going to bring it out towards your your left side here into the centre. Okay, so nice and slow to start with. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, a little bit faster now. And a ball and set and barrel and shot. Okay. So remember, both the inside to outside and outside to inside chop kicks. The purpose of the kick is to bring the leg around the guard, your opponent's guard, up into the centre, then down on top of your opponent. Okay. So, in terms of the kicks, we've covered our front snap kick, our side snap kick from the horse riding stance, our inside to outside chop kick, and our outside to inside chop kick. So these are the four fairly basic kicks that we cover uh, from around about white belt to orange belt and these are the four kicks that you'll be asked to test on when you do your gradings. Okay so in the last part of the lesson uh, we're going to cover what we call one step sparring. So one step sparring the Korean terminology for this is il su -sik, and it's, it's sort of a predetermined attack and defense scenario where you get to normally practice this with a partner one partner will be doing a, a punch or a kick towards you, then you will do either step out of the way or step back and counter. Um, at the moment, due to the circumstance, we're going to be practicing this as a drill. Okay, so when we practice it as a drill, we always do the attacking side first. 
So as if we were the attacker. Okay? So from here, if you move into chumbi position here. Now, your right leg is going to come back and you're going to block with your left arm. And you're going to shout. So your right leg goes back, left arm block. Ready? Hop. Okay. So from this position, you would be attacking your opponent. So your opponent would shout at this point. Now you're going to step forward and do a high punch. Okay? So when I shout, you're going to step forward and do a high punch with your right arm. Ready? Hop. Okay, so let's do that again, okay? So we take our right leg back, left arm block, ready? One, now step through, high punch, two. And borrow. Okay, now let's do the other side this time. Okay, so you're gonna take your left leg back and do right arm block, ready? And up. Now step through, high punch, two. And borrow. Okay, once again, left leg back, right arm low block, ready? And up. Step through, high punch, two. Okay, so this is the attacking side uh, when you would be attacking your opponent, okay, in class. Okay, now we're going to work on, first of all, one step, defense movements now. So the first four one steps, you step out to the side to defend. So you're not moving backwards or forwards, you move out to the side, okay. So, the first one, okay, I'm going to demonstrate this first. Um, and then what I'll do is when we, when, when we get into doing it properly, I'm going to turn around away from the camera. So as if it's what the same sort of position is what you would have when you're doing it. Okay, so we're moving to ready position first. Now the first one step fighting, number one, three, five, seven in the series, you're going to step out or step backwards with your right leg. So I'm going to do a mirror image today. So I'm going to step out here as if you're stepping out to your right. And you would block your left arm circular like this. All the way into the centre, open hand block. Then you twist your hips, you're going to do right arm middle punch, left arm high punch. You then step your left leg behind your right leg, your right leg comes up, ready to roundhouse kick, and then you kick, up, and down, and that's ready. Number two, okay, you step this time, you step out with your left leg, and you block circular here with your right arm into the centre, turning the hip now, left arm middle punch, right arm high punch, Step your right leg back, left leg comes up, ready to kick, then round that kick, here, down, and back to ready. Okay, so number one is going to look like this. One, one, two, step, kick, back to ready. Number two is going to look like this. One, one, two, step, kick, down, back to ready, hand shot. Okay, so I'm going to go through this now. We're going to practice this. So I'm going to turn around here. So number one, you're going to step out here towards two o'clock. With your right leg into your front stance, you're going to block with your left arm like this. Ready, one. Now twist your hip. Okay, you're going to twist towards the left side. And you're going to middle punch with right arm. Two. Now twist your hip the opposite side now. We're going to do high punch with the left arm. Three. Step back with your left leg. Right leg comes up ready to kick here. Now we're going to round our kick into the centre here like this. Here, here. Back to ready. Number two. Okay, so remember, even number, stepping out to the left this time. So I step out, go to stand forward 10 o'clock. And I'm doing right arm circle here. Then left arm punch, one. Right arm high punch, two. Step back with the right, left leg comes up, okay. Then you're going to kick here. Round house kick, down, back to ready, and shot. So, we're stepping out at an angle, doing one step fighting on the first ball. Um, number three, number four, very similar setup again. We're going to step out at an angle, but this time you're going to block using the same arm each time. So, if your right leg steps out, you block your right arm. If your left leg steps out, you block your left arm. So, for number three, from here, you're going to step out to your right, okay, again towards that two o'clock angle. Your right arm is going to come up here bent, ready for outside to inside block. Then you're going to twist your body this time all the way across the block for the elbow bent like this. Then you're going to do two punches, middle, high just like we did last time. Then you're going to step back again, your left leg steps back here. Your right leg is going to come up like this and then you're going to do side snapping here and then down. Back to ready. Number four, we step out this time to the left. So again, elbow comes up bent like this, you 
waist across, outside to inside, and two punches, left, right, step back with the right leg, left leg draws in ready for side kick, and you kick here, hands on guard. Oh, oh that's a ready. And shut. Okay? So we're going to repeat this now, and I'm going to turn around again so I'm doing it in the same direction as what you're going to be doing it back at home. Okay? So I'm here. So number, number three, remember, we're stepping out to the right towards two o'clock here. So as I step out this time, my right leg, the right arm comes up bent here with this. The left arm in as a marker here, just the outside, and twist the body, lock in, all the way across. Then two punches, left, right high, back with the left leg, right leg tips in, and kick. And that's ready. Number four. Okay, so stepping out to the left, so it's 10 o'clock here. Left leg out, left arm comes up here, bent, and twist the ball across. Lock in. Right arm high punch, left arm high punch. This time stepping back with your right, left leg tucking in, and side snap kick. Hands down, far all that way. And shot, relax. So the first ball is the sequence that's firing movement. When you are doing the defensive movement, you are sidestepping here or here. Okay, to block, not forwards and backwards. So remember also the first few Ilse Sig movements. If it's if you're doing one, three, five, seven, you are using your right leg or your right side first. If you're doing two, four, six, eight, using your left side first. It's quite it's an easy way of remembering it. Okay. So in terms of the lesson, um, we've covered everything that I wanted to cover in this first virtual lesson. Um, so as a quick wash up, you remember that we went through our basic stances, we went through some of our basic hand techniques, our basic leg techniques, and we've done the first three kyung, our first three basic forms. And then we finally covered a little bit of one set fighting as a sink. So this is everything that you need for uh, for your first sort of couple of testing, sort of for orange belt. And certainly, you know, plenty to be going on with for your first sort of couple of, couple of weeks at home. Okay. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, lesson. Um, difficult, I, I appreciate. You know, with the circumstances, you know, I'm outside training. Uh, You've got a bit of a background noise with you know, the birds and everything going on outside, but uh, um, hopefully you can hear it fairly clearly. As we look ahead to the next lesson, uh, we'll be covering some of the things that we've covered in this lesson, but also going a little bit further along, um, so we'll be covering some more advanced stuff in the next lesson. Um, so hopefully we can carry on building your knowledge and understanding as the weeks go by. Okay, so we're going to finish there. Okay, so, uh, cheerio. Thank you. Thank you.